I don't watch anime. You know, despite anime being a large part of my life in my youth. And for a very, very long time, I really, really did like anime. At this very moment in time, I am 17 in a few days. I don't know how many days am I 18? How many? I think it's a July 10th. That's 35 days. Jesus Christ, everyone knows one two. 35 days until July 10th. There is currently 35 days until July 10th. So I'm 18, I'm 17, turning 18. And for the large majority of my life, that is like literally 8, 9, 10 to 15, 16. At the end of which I watch anime, and then 16. For the most part, after that, I don't really watch anime. And I don't think I'll watch anime for a very, very long time, considering the fact that I think that anime is, is purely for geeks. It is a psyop. It is a system that's purposely designed to keep us entertained, distracted, put away. Mentally, emotionally castrated, mentally, mentally and emotionally invested into characters that don't even exist. They make us want to buy merch, buy manga, buy this, but it's like it's all just another consumerism ploy. It's fucking hideous. I don't watch anime. Quite intense of a little opening for a video, but. I understand that, but I'll tell you why I feel strongly about this. I'm going to be like, oh, you have to understand. No, no, no. I'll tell you why. Because I used to be addicted to this shit. I used to put all my hours and my energy into this shit. And as a result, the world I saw it was skewed. I thought I had to be feminine as a man. I wanted to cry all the time. I didn't understand. I had to go through hardship. That is you know, bright side. I was influenced. I was a child. I was influenced by this media. Even with one of the best mangas I held all the time, um, Berserk, still escapism. It's a beautiful story, everything is gorgeous, but it's escapism. I'm talking about Berserk. I, I had a Berserk for a pick for a very, very long time. I love Berserk. Berserk is the best manga of all time, best series of all time by far, but I never felt so emotionally connected to a story, but even then, like, all my emotions are connected to a story that aren't even real in the first place, and despite the emotions being in some cases, I was, I was I literally when that fairy died. Spoilers when Guts was in a prison cell, and then he had a little like um, plant spirit fairy, and it died trying to heal him. And I was so happy that it could heal him with, with its leaves. Um, I'm not tearing up, surprisingly, but I'm remembering the emotions I had back then. I just have to say, like, it was beautiful. I do remember like how I felt. It's the best. I've it's the best man of all time. I I don't felt that strongly about anything. Yeah, but sadly, sad to say, but I think I felt about it stronger than when my great grandfather died. It was fucking weird. And and all anime, all manga, all thing, all of this is just entertainment, cult media. They want to keep us entertained, distracted, and divided. Sparkling water. And it's just like, it's just frustrating to see, it's frustrating to think about because it feels like I've been sold a lie. It's like just a lie. Like a dirty, disgusting lie about, about all of this shit. Oh. Nothing really much to say. say. There's nothing really much more than that I can say, to be honest. Catch you guys in the next video, peace. What the? I clicked the button, bro. Is there anything else to say? Psyop, yeah, check. Distraction check. My childhood, yeah, you watched all my life. I watched hundreds of anime. I got like 500 manga on my manga decks. Yeah, I check. Yep, I was a fucking geek. Check. Like, I'm not really happy about the past. Check. Yeah, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Like, nothing really else to say. Like, that's it. That's how I feel about it. Like,
fuck. I, I don't I don't watch any of that shit anymore. I don't watch anime anymore. Thank God. Do, I do read manga in manual sometimes. I'll admit the truth. Even though I said I quit manga, uh, but like I still fell into it and. Honestly, like, I'm, I would much rather just read books instead. I don't, I literally don't even, like, it's just all escapism. I'm escaping the shittiness of my life. Let's go to, oh shit, remote. I'm escaping the shittiness of my life in order to go there because it seems better. I get to live vicariously through fictional characters, which I fucking hate. Why do I have to live vicariously? Why can't I just live in my own body, be comfortable in my own reality, be happy in my own reality? I have to see all these fancy mages and magic and fucking magical powers and all that shit and leveling system and status window and all that shit like status window what the fuck that shit's not real bro fuck and it becomes increasingly increasingly more relatable because um, a, a normal person just like you who reads manga all the time just like you and he plays video games just like you and then he goes into east he gets isekai and he dies by trotkin and then fucking he goes to another world and Wow, status window. Like, it's all the same premise bullshit, bro. It's all a lie. It's all a fagazi. It's gonna keep us entertained and distracted and divided and put away. Like, bro, like, what the fuck? They are people, are these people that watch anime and all this shit, they unironically themselves, unironically call themselves weebs, bro. That's their personality. Like, I remember this Chinese guy I, remember, I met before. It was in my secondary school. I really, really like, liked him. Because it was like the only other Asian guy in my school. Like, all, I was like one of three Asian guys. Like zero Asian guys. Like oh, so fucking one of them left, and the other one I don't know what fuck happened. I don't. I don't really particularly care. But I really like this guy because I thought he would be like just like me. He's not just like me. He's a massive fucking geek, and I hate. And I hate the fact that it is my fault. I don't hate him particularly, but I hate the fact I hate myself more than that. I hate the fact that I I, I was enamored by oh he's Asian, so he I should relate to him, and I was like. He recently, like, I, I said something mean to him a while back, and I apologized for it, and then he recently said, like, hi to me back, so, like, we're, I'll probably chill now, probably okay, but I looked at the message, I just left him on scene, I was like, what the fuck, geek? He speaks like a geek still, He's, he hasn't changed as a, a person, he hasn't changed as a character, I've changed immensely. I'm not that guy anymore. I changed radically. Like, what the fuck? He's still the same geek playing Genshin Impact. He's AR60 on three fucking accounts. I think it's AR70 now, almost. He's got like more five stars that I can count my fucking fingers. The fuck? He's got more five stars that I have thousands in my bank account. Like, this guy is fucking. He's invested his entire life in the video game. He's a weed. What? Watches anime. Watches manga. Like, he's a, he's a nerd. And this is like what I was trying to be. I understand completely and utterly. Like, if you can defend anime and all that shit, what do you want, bro? But he could be one outlier who's like six foot five, and then he's like a John Zerker, and he watches anime and shit, and he's a, he's a nerd. But that's a complete ugly outlier. Congratulations, outlier. For the most part, most men that watch anime and all the entertainment media are usually, usually, usually the bomb barrel of men that are completely invisible to women, and completely invisible to everyone else in society, because they really hold no value to society. Fucking, it's shitty thing to think about. It's shitty. I don't watch anime for that reason. Like anime, anime, like especially like the Japanese like indoctrinating people into anime. Like, I think that's, and despite the fact that I love Japanese culture and everything, the fact that the Japanese are literally making this, like fucking I don't know like sex robots and everything. I don't, know, I don't want to talk about too much, but they're preparing us for a fucking dog shit future upcoming, upcoming ahead, and I think that the world as we know it. Is gonna radically change where the rich become richer and the poor become poorer, and the divide between the ultra rich and the peasants become increasingly wider, and the divide between people that are ultra focused and ultra productive and you know they get a lot of work done, they're in shape, they you know they have their lives fucking fixed instead of it being level 100 video games and level 100 in the fucking Genshin Impact or AR level 100, in, AR 100 in Genshin Impact, the level 100 in real life. Now well, these individuals they level up in the video game and. They, live by character through the characters in the video game or well, literally yeah they do live by character for the characters in the video game because they get to control the characters right through the video game and through the manga and through the anime and they get completely subsumed and consumed with these entertainment media the more they do that the more the excellent excel and the shittier becomes shit 
You'll learn from my mistake. Don't watch anime. Don't watch entertainment video. YouTube should be your only source of entertainment. And <coughs> Even then, <coughs> you don't shit behind my back. All my viewers watching my fucking videos. Even then, I think that. Damn, this fucking ear wax. Disgusting. Ew. Damn, what the fuck? Who's the mad ear wax? Could you light your wax in a candle? So I'm, I'm getting distracted. Like, smart men will learn from their mistakes, wise men learn from the mistakes of others. Be a wise man. Be wise. Learn from my mistake. Don't fucking invest in anime. End up like a geek for a lot of time. I'll, in the short that I make upcoming, I'll show you some images where I used to look like a horrible fucking geek, obese, fat, ugly, geek, whatever, whatever, whatever. That's why I don't watch anime. Catch you in the next video. Peace. Leave me your comment, leave me your comment. Peace, peace, peace.